What is up Borough fans and welcome to the match review of Borough versus Sheffield Wednesday. Um, I know it's late um, but just been thinking of what I can find that was positive from that game. Um, and there isn't much to be honest. Um, it's just so frustrating at the moment with what is going on with the club that I love. I mean, I love this badge, I love this team, and watching them week in, week out, and getting performances like we did on Wednesday is just depressing. It really is depressing, and it's just putting a damper down on the club as a whole. Um, and the only positivity from that game was us Borough fans. Uh, you know what I mean? We sold 30,000 tickets and we sang our hearts out from the first whistle to the last and we got nothing. We got absolutely nothing. And that's the only positive from that game is that the Borough fans were amazing as they always are. Um, but it's, it's just getting to the point now it's like what what do we do next? We have no plan A, we have no plan B, we have no plan C. You can go through the whole alphabet and we wouldn't have a plan for it, to be honest. Um, oh, like the first... I'd say the first 20 minutes of that game, we played really good football. We did. We had the chances. But yet again, we don't know how to score. And it's frustrating to watch. It really is. And then, all of a sudden, we just let Reach get the ball... He does about two or three defenders, puts it in the back of the net, doesn't celebrate, so which is good because we don't want to see him celebrating. Um, and then that was it. Game was theirs basically because for some reason the Borough players didn't care, they just gave up. Um, and it's getting to the point now with what is going to happen next. Um, I actually thought after that game that Pulis was going to get the sack it's not happened as of yet uh, whether he will or not that's another thing um, but you know I've said to myself who do we get in who would want to come to the borough and deal with what's going on basically who could change it who could make it better I mean you see that Karanka's in trouble at the moment with Forrest he could be getting sack and then I see people saying oh let's get Cranker back why why get Cranker back what's he going to do that's completely different now we don't want Cranker back he was brilliant for us but we don't want him back it's just too late to have him um, but no that game on Wednesday was it was just depressing I mean I saw just looking at the fans as they were leaving the stadium, oh, heads down, huffing and puffing, just exhausted and gutted, really are gutted. And yes, yet again, there was more bu no, more booze, more booing uh, from the, the fans, which is, it's allowed, basically. It's just, we played terrible, and the way we wanted to express ourselves was by booing the team. Um, I didn't boo myself but many people that were sat near me or behind me were booing, uh, which is fair enough, because if you're going to put a performance on like that, Borough, you're going to get booed off by as simple as that. I mean, where's the passion gone? You know, what does this mean to those Borough players when they put on the shirt? Because it should mean passion. It should mean that you want to play for the Borough. You want to put in the best performance you can, week in, week out. And we are not seeing that. And it's just... I don't... It's it's hard to even do a review when you can't even speak about your own team because there's nothing positive to talk about on them. They are awful. We are an awful team to watch at the moment. We really, really are. And what me, I'm going to the game on Saturday against Ipswich and... There's just no confidence. I'll be honest, there is no confidence whatsoever from myself. And many other people that I've talked to, they just have no confidence anymore. And it's it's worrying and it's sad to hear. And it's sad to feel like this. Knowing that 
we even expect our own team to lose because we're that bad and we're that fed up of watching that dross week in week out and you know what I mean I'm Pulis I, I am Pulis and I have been Pulis in since he's arrived at the club and he seems to just aim the blame at the players but he needs to take it himself as well because it's not just the players it's him as well there's something going on in our club and we won't know I've said it many times there's something going on and whatever it is it needs to be sorted before the second half of the season kicks off simple as that as soon as this game finishes on Saturday let's get it under the carpet let's get it sorted because it's just getting out of hand now um, but he's blaming the players again and then we've got the people like Brayford who want to leave good leave get out of the club because we don't want you um, you're not wanted You've never wanted to be here. Simple as that. Bit of pressure for you. You can't hack it in the championship. So get your bags packed. Oh, I'll give you a lift to the airport so you can go to Spain. Good riddance to us. We don't need you. Um, and then, I mean, we've just we're getting Van La Para. Uh, he's passed his medical. And people, look, this is what annoys me about Burrowfan. They're already writing this lad off. He's not even put a Borough shirt on yet, and he's not stepped on the pitch, and he's not played a game. And there's people already saying, oh, he's rubbish him. Why? Why is he rubbish? He might have been rubbish for Huddersfield. Doesn't mean he's going to be rubbish for the Borough. Give the lad a chance. Let him tie his laces and get on the pitch at the Riverside and play a game for Borough. And then after that game, you can have your own opinions of how he's played. But if he was to come out and play an absolutely phenomenal game and... Score, let's say, scores a hat trick. All the people that have written him off before I even put the bullshit shirt on would be like, Oh, yeah, he's a good player. Him, you know what I mean? Give the lad a chance, let him play. And after the first game, we could see where we're at with it. But don't write him off before he's even played. It's just embarrassing to hear people writing players off before they've signed. Um, and whether we get any more in, I don't know. Um, but I think there's going to be a managerial change soon. I really do think Pulis is going to go. Um, whether he goes on his own terms or Gibson decides, I've had enough of watching my club go the way they are. Because at the moment, you know, we are not going up at this rate. We are not going to go up. And it's it pains me to say, but Leeds are going to go up. Simple as that. They play good football. And that hurts to say that because and I, I hate Leeds. But they are playing fantastic football at the moment. And they're a very good team to watch. As simple as that. And that's what I want to say about the Borough. I want to be able to do a review. And be like, oh yeah, we play absolutely phenomenal. Um, great passing, etc. Set plays, all this. And I want to just see us winning games again. But... I just can't see much at the moment. It's it's one of them. Um, but that game on Wednesday was just Sheffield Wednesday. And that was it. And do you know what? A big shout out to their fans because they were absolutely phenomenal. They really were. They sang non-stop and the atmosphere was brilliant inside the stadium. Um, for their team anyway. But for us, the only thing good about that day was the fans the Borough fans and that's that the Borough team were crap and they've been crap for a while and they've just got to start showing a bit of passion on the pitch because it's getting a joke now um, but yeah guys um, this has been my review I know I've not spoke much about the game but I just couldn't even pick bits out that I could talk about because there's nothing to focus on because we were that bad and the only good thing was the atmosphere and the fans from both sides and that was that other than that nothing else to even talk about much um, so this is going to be a short review um, my preview for the Ipswich game will also be up today um, I'll get that done later but guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like. 
um, share it with your friends etc and subscribe to the channel because it's more stuff like this and yeah guys um, can't wait to get my preview up for the Ipswich game not that I'm very confident but yeah I shall catch you all for the preview for Borough vs Ipswich a bit later today and I will see you all very soon peace out people